What do you think of the whole thing that Mr. Holman's put together here? I think it is fantastic. This is just unbelievable. As a sporting event of this size, uh, I don't know where in the world you'd, you'd find accommodations like this or anything to match it. I would have to say, if it wouldn't have been for Mr. Holman buying the Speedway, the championship racing would not be what it is today. He didn't spare any any of the effort or the dollars in making the place as great as it is today. And uh, it's all because he bought the racetrack and started building it back to what it is today. Tony Holman was a magic man. He loved racing and he did it from his heart, not for monetary reason. He had money. I just don't think he ever knew it, you know? <laughs> Tony Holman was one of those beautiful individuals that uh, uh, made you feel so much at home. It was a quality to this man that uh, everybody loved him. Well, Tony was a friend. Uh, we were a young team coming to the track. Uh, he put his arms around us and said, what can I do for you? And what, I said, what can we do for, you know, for Indianapolis Motor Speedway? And uh, I think it was a partnership, something that, that I'll never forget. Uh, you know, what, what a guy to, to have the vision and, and the instincts to put together that track uh, as he did. It was one simple man in Terre Haute, Indiana, who was the key to the success of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. His family is still there. His family, under his influence, obviously, all these years have been perfect owners of the track. And I commend them. Gentlemen.